can get really cold at night, especially overnight. Well, and it's going to happen really soon, mm -hmm. right, Rich? Starting tonight, mm. uh, not too bad through the downtown area, but some of the outlying areas, some of the high desert communities, mm -hmm. some of the, the valleys, outlying valley areas, going to be very cold in the next few nights, right on through uh, uh, early Saturday, as a matter of fact. Some very cold overnight low temperatures coming our way as the trough of low pressure approaches Southern California. Could even bring us some rain, and we're going to talk about some timing here in just a second. Let's check on some of today's daytime highs on the Weather Watchers Network. John and Reseda reported 83 for the high today, but in Aguanga, 71 the high there. Steve said Lake Arrowhead got to 60. Stefan in Santa Barbara said 74 was the daytime high, and Jim and Seal Beach said they came in at 82. Take a look at some current temperatures for you around Southern California as we take a look at the shot from out at the pier right now. Uh, clear skies overnight tonight. Uh, we will see the marine layer of low clouds and fog pick up tonight, as a matter of fact. The onshore flow is really starting to pick up, and so the marine layer low clouds and fog will start uh, inundating coastal communities overnight tonight. There's currents on the screen right now. 53 for Santa Barbara, 59 for Oxnard, 63 for downtown Los Angeles, same for Santa Ana and Riverside. 30s already in Big Bear, 58 in Lancaster, 62 right now in Van Nuys. Remember, we hit a daytime high downtown today. 10 degrees above normal, 81 officially. Down a few degrees from the weekend, but still very nice. Double digit sustained winds up through the Antelope Valley and Big Bear. Everybody else in single digits and calm at this hour. So here's our headlines. Low pressure storm approaches Southern California. Showers are possible. If we get a little push out of Mother Nature and things uh, make it over the mountain, we could see uh, some kind of rainfall. Significant cooling nonetheless kicks in by tomorrow and a chance of coastal flooding due to some very high tides here in Southern California. The morning tides, the next couple of days, those are going to be the iffy ones. Here's our uh, beach hazard statement in red on your screen for three counties around the area for some high tides and uh, possible coastal erosion. Also some very strong rip currents and then the coastal flood advisory for Orange and San Diego County beaches. That will stay in effect through Friday at 12 o'clock. So a little area of disturbance is blowing by right now, but it's opening the trough, getting things ready for this area of low pressure, which by tomorrow will start dropping down the coast. The inclement weather will start hitting through the San Francisco Bay Area by about 6 p.m. tomorrow, and then we put it into motion for Wednesday. It moves off to the east, but it's a cutoff low at this point. So let's watch what happens Thursday. It just meanders around. It looks like we get a little cloud cover and even some rain. Uh, overnight Wednesday into Thursday, uh, and it looks like even we could see some spritz as this thing starts dropping overnight tomorrow night as well. So it's just all up in the air right now. It's a cutoff low. It's going to meander around a little bit for a couple of days through Friday, as a matter of fact. But uh, again, we'll get a little better handle on things as the uh, next couple of days uh, come in and the data starts coming in a little more uh, feverishly from the National Weather Service. 68 downtown tomorrow, 65 at the beach, 67 for the valleys and IE with partly cloudy skies, mostly cloudy by Wednesday, mostly cloudy for your Thursday as well. Let's hope we see some rain out of this. Ladies, back to you.